Hey, what is going on, guys? Quad MFT here, bringing you your most loved series, the dual commentary with my dad. Hello, son. Hello, father. So, uh, what have we got going on? What, what is this? This is, uh, Domination? Alright, yeah, this is actually a really long gameplay playing with my buddy Travis, and, uh,. It's a, just a normal domination using the Scar L. I actually do. Uh, this is a spoiler alert, so mute your mute, mute the sound for a you second. You probably already put it in the title. Yeah, yeah. If you don't hear it, so or sh don't sh know how to read. Sh okay, I, I I got uh. Okay, he got. I got Rocker. really close to my Moab. Moab, oh, wow. like like four away, and wow. and I, and I got uh messed up. So you know, you know. I got a Moab in a care package one time. <laughs> yeah, right, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a, it was. A, 17 kills. It's really, it's a special care package. <laughs> okay. You, so, you, yeah, go ahead. No, no, I, I, you're, you're the one who's telling the story. What do you go? Oh, like, just get Scar really L. Kill death? Is that what's going on? Scar L. No, it's not really that great. It's just, uh, just the gameplay. I'd save it up. Those really, really long, and I thought I'd uh, do it with you because I prefer longer gameplays with you and uh, medium to short ones when I do my own commentaries. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. You recently, you've been doing. Uh, you had a. You had a. a I guess it would be a party with your buddies, where you all got together. What, the four of you with your PS3s and all you each had your own individual screen and everything? Yeah, Man. yeah, yeah. We did. We all partied up, and there was four of us. We all played together, and we just raped little noobs. We were all on the same internet because we have really, really, really good internet. And uh, so we just got all together, had our own screens, had our own PS3s, and see. When I was a kid, a you had to bring like just a deck of cards. Or no. <laughs> a board game or, or, or like a, a club to go beat up some dinosaurs right exactly when you got hungry <laughs> roast them over an open fire yeah it was, it was yummy like that. <laughs> but yeah no so you guys get together you'll have your own you come I mean, it's, it's it's a it's we have to take a trailer just to get to your friend's house you're packing all your stuff man screens and consoles and everything so um is that uh what so that just tells me that cod is probably yeah, uh, some drug that you need. You gotta get your dose up. Yeah, all of us have this drug. Uh, everybody has a drug for Call of Duty. Yeah, well, you know, I, I figured out why. It's because every once in a while you're great. At it. You know, every once in a while you go, "That's a gameplay. That's the one I want to put up at." But there are other games, other times where, dare dare be said, you're not that good at it. You know, I mean, you're great, but you know, there are times where you get banner games and times where you get okay games, and it's the wanting to get the okay game or the great game that keeps you coming back. Yep. Because you know it's just around the corner. The next game, you're going to do really good. Yeah. I don't have that illusion, but, you know, I, I just like to play. It's just a, a time <laughs> just I don't. I never I never put up by... With, uh, your, with your 9% accuracy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> pray and pray, baby. That's my motto. <laughs> just hold it down. Type 95 for the message. You can only three. I've been holding this thing down for 30 seconds. I haven't been shooting. <laughs> So yeah, no, I. So um. So it is addictive. It is addictive. But I've also been noticing that you're not that you're not that uh, hell bent on MW3 all of a sudden. You're going to between a bunch of different. COD four, COD, COD five, yeah. MW2. Well, I just I'm getting into MW2 a, a little bit because uh, Justin and Jacob both just got it and they really like it. So I've been playing it with them just to hang out because part of Call of Duty is the social aspect to it. That's one of the main reasons I play is just to hang out with my friends. So yeah, that's one of the things I think a lot of people don't don't understand about it. it, it they think it's back you know in my day where you know you're just sitting in front of a screen, you're not interacting with anything or anybody, and you're barely interacting with Tom. Come on. You know, how, how, how tough was that? You know, I, but we did Missile Command and things like that, but we'd all hang out at the local pizza joint. I still hung out at Shakey's. Enemy we had Missile Holden. Command, Galaxia, Asteroids, this, this, this tank game. I mean, it was like just, just green lines on a screen. It was the best thing in the world. <laughs> you know, so, uh, but now you guys get to play these miraculous games in real time over the Internet. Uh, that is just, it's, it's amazing. And, you, and you're talking to each other while you're doing it. Yeah, but the chat isn't that great on, on M to B three, so you know. Yeah, that's that's true, but all in all you guys are playing with each other. I mean you guys went, went into the MW two lobbies the other night and you know, into you know, Black Ops and you know, you guys are just doing a bunch of different games. It's not it doesn't seem to be a big race to the, the you know, the ultimate prestige like it has been in the last couple of rounds of Call of Duty for you. Yeah, well I'm already six fifty, so I'm not really like try harding to get to 10th, because I mean, I have this game for another 9 or 10 months, so. Ah, so do you think, yeah, exactly, do you think that uh, it was easier to get to 
the maximum prestige in MW3 than Black Ops? No, because I mean, it took me like 14 days to get uh to get to 15th prestige, but that I didn't start trying until I had like we were eight months into Black Ops, and that's why my KD is pretty low on that. But I mean. I have like four and a half days played on MW3, and as you guys just saw, I just had my my buddy kill himself for me because I needed ammo because I, right here I was getting close to my Moab, but you know uh, that's what friends are for, killing themselves. And, uh, yeah, I, I I've done it for you before. Yeah, and of course, uh, it means nothing to me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm dying all the time. Yeah, so I I have like four and a half days played, and I'm already sixth, 51, and by the, and I'm I had like 14 days played by the time I was 15th. So well, I, I don't know if these are stats to be uh, proud about, but uh, certainly means that uh, we know where to find you. Yeah, you know, you're not running around the streets, I suppose. Um, so well, I, I, okay, I just got the bad news you know, from somebody's video. I think it was. Uh, I don't know. I think it could have been Redneck. I think it was. Um, about how PS3 doesn't get the maps when... I mean, even here, Call of Duty... Right here. Right here. Oh. See, the stealth bomber mixed me up. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, uh, okay. okay last so, um, so, yeah, we don't get the maps. Xbox gets them early again. Well, that's a, that, that is not cool. I mean, we paid, we yeah, paid it, our it's, it's, money. You know what it is? You know what it is? What is it? It is blasphemy. It's racist. It, it is. It is. We are a different race. This. We are. We are the foreigners, and they are the. We are the aliens. That's actually racist. What you said? No, it is. It's racist. Foreigners? You're talking about the Japanese people who make Sony? No, it has nothing to do with where the consoles are made. We're just treated like that. Like we're not first class citizens. We get, we get the leftovers a month later, and we and we pay the same price. In fact, I, we paid fifty bucks to get it. Yeah, well, and we don't well, get it in the same exactly, time. exactly. And even though our controllers are superior, well, now you're gonna start a firestorm. Hey, yeah, whatever. It's like, oh, okay, what's better, Mac or PC? I'm mean, just gonna have an opinion. Xbox and whatever. Xbox and PlayStation are amazing games, the amazing consoles. So you know, each one has their own. Different you know, things, you know, but I'll, I'll eventually get an Xbox. We someday. need the we need the maps. We need the maps, and it's just that's yeah. that's yeah. that's our open wine. <laughs> to uh, the makers of the Call of Duty series. Yeah, like, just screw we. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the rest of them. We we sold our Wii to get a second PS3. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. I don't know about, like all that moving around. When I play a video game, I want to. You figure out how to sit down and play it in the other room. Yeah, I did. I tried to figure like out every way day. I could figure out the Wii just to, to to be sitting. It was my thing, and I'm not like even 300 pounds. I wish I was 300 pounds. Um, You're like 350. Yeah, shh, shh, don't, don't, no, don't tell. No, <laughs> um, If I was, I wouldn't, I wouldn't admit it. Like wings? What? Huh? Yeah, he does. He puts a camera on him. He's not. He's he doesn't care. He's, he's proud of himself. He knows he has a severe problem. He's comfortable with himself. And so, what are those lasers you just pulled out? Oh, they're called the FMG nines. I'm done with them though. I'm moved on to the MP9. I feel like it's superior secondary. Well, I, you know, I started using whatever those FMG nines. And uh, he didn't have enough ammo for me. Of course, with my accuracy. Nine percent. Well, I shot him at a wall, and I couldn't even uh, like. I'm like, is that even near? Those bullets aren't even near each other on that wall. Yeah, I mean, it's just not. I guess it's a close range weapon, but you know, it didn't. It didn't serve me well at my nine percent accuracy. Yeah. Well, I, you know, if it took into account how how many uh, aircraft you shoot down, I'm really good at shooting down aircraft. Yeah, he, he's a he's what you call a uh, movie fan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I get points for it. I get yeah. streaks and get my UAVs and counter UAVs up so I can get the caps. But hey, none of that shows up on the scoreboard. Not that I'm bitter. In, in Black Ops, it does. Yeah, well, I did. I played some Black Ops last night. No, nope. you know, just to go back. You know what? It's so much slower game. It's just shocking to me how much more relaxed I can be on Black Ops. Not that I'm that much better, but it's just. This game, is, this game, MW3 is just so quick. It's all about reaction time for me. Yeah, you know, it's, it's no Angry Birds. You know? <laughs> or where's my water? Yeah. I love where's my water. Yeah. I'm not even saying that. Yeah, as far as you know. But uh, yeah. okay, yeah. So <laughs> hey, what? You're getting money that I'm not, that I don't uh, know about? Yeah. You're getting paid in packs of gum. <laughs> Eighteen packs per shout out. Oh, there you go. Bubble yum, whatever you need. <laughs> it's always good for a commentator to be chewing gum. I have actually watched a commentator chew gum worst commentator. Yeah, <coughs> no shout that's out. That's like to rule one. Enemy UAV chew commentary. <laughs>
Okay, so um, so what do you what do you think about this whole uh, anti-social thing? Parents want you want to think that you're, when you're playing video games, you're not being social. Well, the the, uh, the parents who like me and my buddies, they know we're really into it, so they know that we're constantly talking, calling them out. I mean, we're actually talking. We're actually saying. Wait, what? What homework did we have last night? We we get our homework done before, or, or at least I get my homework done before uh, I I play any video games. So you kind of make it a reward for yourself? Somewhat, yeah. Because I mean, I know I have to make a video almost daily, and it's it's fun. I, I enjoy it, but my, like but you, you understand. Video. You completely understand because that's the only reason you're doing the commentary with me is because you understand it and you enjoy it. Well, and you, t you know, if you take care of business, if this was something like, you know, you're getting C's and D's and, you know, we're after you and you're lying to us and telling them, oh, no, I don't have any homework, then, you know, we'd have a different story, but you're taking yeah. care of business. And I'm still nothing playing Nothing wrong with playing. Yeah, nothing wrong with playing if you're taking care of business. You know, it's not making you a bad guy or you know, changing who you are. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more. Right.